Now I agree that black isn't the best color to have your GTC4 Lusso in. Perhaps the traditional red, yellow or even white would help its lines and curves stand out. But it is the subtlety of this color that adds to its desirability. A mild revision of the FF, the GTC4 Lusso resembles the F12 Berlinetta from certain angles and it is its broad haunches and wide stance that make it a good looking car. A very good looking car. Grand Tourer and meant to seat for adults, Ferrari has paid careful attention to the design and quality of the interior. Inside the GTC4 Lusso is stitched leather along the dashboard, door panels and centre console with real metal on the pedals and titanium around the circular AC vents. Much like a Formula 1 car and most other Ferraris, there aren't any stocks around the cabin. All essential functions have been crammed onto the steering wheel. For instance, the indicators are controlled from the steering wheel. The headlights are controlled from the steering wheel. Suspension settings from the steering wheel. Bluetooth telephony from the steering wheel. Drive modes from the steering wheel. Wipers from the steering wheel. And although it should feel like an ergonomic disaster, the truth is that it just feels so right. But keeping all of that aside, the most impressive thing about the GTC4 Lusso is the space that it offers in the back. Far from utilitarian, there's plenty of headroom and legroom, rear AC vents and USB charging ports inside the central armrest. In fact, not only does this practical Ferrari offer plenty of passenger room, but a whole load of cargo room too. With boot space measuring in at 450 litres, that's enough to fit a suitcase or two if you get rid of the spare wheel. To keep front seat passengers entertained, there's an 8.8 inch touchscreen that acts as an extension of the instrument cluster display, allowing them to view speed, rev and gear information, while also allowing them access to the sat-nav and entertainment system. The most interesting feature, however, is at the back of the car, where on a plaque hidden in the boot, Ferrari writes down the options fitted on each and every car. This small little detail reminds drivers that they aren't just driving any Ferrari, but their Ferrari. Despite being a Grand Tourer and being softer than its predecessor, the FF, the GTC4 Lusso is a proper Ferrari in every way possible. Hidden beneath its long hood is a 6.3 litre naturally aspirated V12 engine that pushes 680 horsepower and 697 newton meters of torque to all four corners. What those numbers translate to are a 0 to 100 time of 3.4 seconds, a top speed of 335 kilometers per hour, and melodious exhaust notes at any and all speeds. Keeping numbers aside, however, the GTC4 Lusso is an experience. An experience that is heightened by a quick shifting, seven speed dual clutch transmission and rear wheel steering turning the wheels in the same direction as the front wheels at low speeds and in the opposite direction at high speeds, it offers better stability and greatly reduces understeer when taking bends at high speeds. The Manettino switch, which is Italian for little lever, makes subtle changes to the transmission, the suspension, the traction control system and the electronic differential depending on which mode is selected, sport, comfort, wet or snow. What's surprising is just how fast the GTC4 Lusso changes personalities. It can go from loud and obnoxious to quiet and comfortable in the simple flick of a switch. And that's what a Grand Tourer should do. The GTC4 Lusso is no ordinary Grand Tourer. It's the Ferrari of Grand Tourers. And at a starting price of 1,225,000 dirhams, it's expensive. But it's also the embodiment of automotive perfection. 
A quick note to all other Grand Tourers then, the benchmark has been raised. Thanks for watching.